everyone, what's up? It's me, Micah, and welcome to my January favorites. If you are new to my channel, hello, thank you very much for clicking on this video. So, yung twist na ginagawa ko for my favorites video is that other than sharing my favorite stuff for the month, I also share the favorite lessons that I've learned. And that is what we are going to start with today. But before that, of course, I'm not gonna forget what is my lippy of the day. I am wearing baked from, from, from Sunny's face. I honestly think that this is a shade that's perfect for any skin tone. So try it out. The texture is really good. Longevity wise, not the best, but shade wise, it's poppin'. So my first January favorite actually bloomed as I was watching my past favorites video and I noticed how I kept talking a lot about passion, going for what you're passionate about, and I'm still all about that. I stand by my words, but I've been educated in that aspect, in that span of time that I last talked about it, and this leads me to my first January favorite. Last December 2019, my best friend Nikki and I hosted for an event where a Selv and Omen was playing. So we got the chance to interview her right after her set. And if you guys don't know a Selv and Omen, you might know her as the lead singer of Moonstar 88, the singer of Torete. Anyway, we asked her, Na para Asel, what keeps you going? You've been in the industry for such a long time, diba? Right? What she said stuck to me to this very day. She said, passion is what drives you, but purpose is what keeps you going. And I was like, that's so simply put, but it's just so rich and full of wisdom. It's true. In my career, I started out with so much passion and love for it, but as you keep doing it on a day-to-day -day basis and it has become a routine, you sometimes find yourself burning out and what gets you through is not your passion it's your purpose knowing that you were put there because you have a role to play in that industry i think that this is just such a good refresher for everybody especially this january in times that we feel like we're burned out and we can no longer do it we're starting to feel lazy for something that we used to love so much let's remember why we were put there in the first place you know passion it kind of takes time to reignite once you've lost it. But purpose, it will always be there. Whether you've lost the feeling of love for it, or whether you love it so much, it will always be there. And it's nice to come back to that every single time that we feel lost, or we're wondering what steps to take next. My second January favorite is actually from a preaching of Zaravi Zacharias. I hope I'm saying his name right. Anyway, he mentioned in the preaching how reality can shape or mold our perception. Sometimes yung reality natin hindi siya maganda. In fact, it could be tragic, basically just very negative. And this shapes how we perceive things, how we perceive other people, how we perceive experiences and situations. But what I love about what he said is that reality shouldn't shape your perception but it is your perception that should shape your reality that was not in verbatim but basically that was his point so that hits really close to home for me kasi ako pag may nakikita akong masamang nangyayari like yung eruption of the El volcano or Kobe Bryant passing away along with his daughter and and the recent coronavirus epidemic and it's all just getting to me I, I started getting so negative and paranoid really was not helping my situation at all. And in the midst of all that, of course, I was also experiencing other personal challenges. And I realized my reality is starting to corrupt and cloud my perception of the future and other people. And when I heard that message, I was like, light bulb, Micah, maybe your situation is not getting better because you are letting reality control your situation. How about Let's do it the other way around. If our outlook is always positive, no matter how bad things get, then it can always turn your negative reality into something beautiful, into something good. I'm no longer gonna dive into it much, but I just wanna encourage all of us, yes, all of us, including me, to look at things with a fresh pair of glasses every time. Let's be positive, let's be inspiring and encouraging to the people around us. Let's not let the lies of this world and reality get to our minds. Instead, let's bring light out 
from within. Let your perception shape your reality and not the other way around. All right, now moving on to the things that I've learned to love in January. First up, I'm gonna go with something that is already on me. My nails! Oh my gosh, guys, wait lang. Ang cute ng nails ko. I cannot. It's, isn't it so cute? Honestly, nakuha ko lang tong nail inspiration na to from Pinterest. I mostly get my inspiration from Pinterest. I got this done at Posh Nails Solenad here in Santa Rosa, Laguna. And the reason why why I've been loving nails so much is because no January lang talaga na develop yung love ko for this. You know what? I think I only started getting manicures and pedicures last year. This year, I really want to focus on it. I always want my nails to look nice and clean and I feel like that's important because a lot of us, we overlook that. Dami pa lang mga nakasingit ng dumi-dumi sa nails natin. So yeah, I love my nails. So suna demand something that's on me as well. These earrings. Wait lang, I'm gonna go closer. Here it is. Ayan. And my earrings from Imono Jewelry. It's actually just a really small pair of hoop earrings, but I love it so much for everyday use. This again is from Imono Jewelry. I think what makes them unique is that it's made out of steel jewelry, stainless steel basically, and it just does not fade at all. I bought this, I think, the beginning of January, and I've been wearing it every day since then. It has not faded. It hasn't shown a sign of fading. But I don't know if shower, kahit nasa gym. And I only got it for 200 pesos. That's the best part about it. Next is the only hair care product that I have on this video. And it is my Palmolive Expert Deep Anti Frizz Serum. I have been using this every day since I got it. They actually sent this to me, but no, this is not sponsored by them. I have just grown to love this product. Wala ako mga anti-frizz serum, mostly yung mga ginagamit ko are oils and I don't get to use them on an everyday basis because I'm scared that my hair would get oily throughout the day. The great thing about this is that number one, okay, this spray siya, it's in a spray bottle. So it's so easy to apply on your hair without it getting on your hands. It's not sticky whatsoever. It's not oily and it really does tame the frizz of my hair. Even now, oh, hindi masyadong frizzy yung hair ko. That's why I I love this so much. It's just perfect for when I want to go out and I want my hair to look nice for the entire day. Highly recommend this because it makes your hair smell so fresh as well. Next up is the only makeup makeup related product that I have on this video as well. And it is this. So I think clinic. Take the day off micellar cleansing towelette for the face and the eyes. I actually did not buy this here in the Philippines, but if I find something online, I'm just gonna link that down below. This was kindly given to me by Ninang Bambi. Ninang Bambi, thank you so much. I love this. Guys, ang galing nito kasi pang tamat talaga siya. Minsan, kahit gustong gusto ko yung mga cleansing bombs, tinatamad ako to kind of keep rubbing on my face and then have to cleanse it afterwards. Kasi ito, you just open it up, take it out, wipe your face with it and throw it. The only con I have for this is that it's not really the best for the environment. But the reason why I love this is ngayong January lang talaga ako ng makeup wipes. So I didn't realize the convenience until I actually got my hands on it. Now moving on to mostly skincare products. First up, we have my St. Ives. Am I saying it right? St. Ives Hydrating Vitamin E and Avocado Body Lotion. I got this from Watson's. And guys, I love it so much. You know, I have been a fan of St. Ives for a very long time now. And you've probably noticed that if you've been watching my videos from the very beginning. This just smells so good. It feels so good on my skin. It really locks in so much moisture into my skin, but it doesn't give me that sticky, icky feeling afterwards. So again, just like all the other products I'm showing you guys today, I highly recommend this. It's so good and it's also not that expensive. I think 325 pesos and it will last you a long time because there's 621 ml worth of lotion or product in this packaging. My next skincare product is this. It is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask from Kiehl's 
here it is you guys this is the very small version I don't think they sell this again this was only given to me by Ninang Bambi Ninang Bambi thank you so much for spoiling me now I love this a lot because it helps number one keep my pimples at bay number two it really deeply cleanses my skin and number three it does not make my skin feel like it lacks moisture right after I wash it off in fact my skin ends up feeling so healthy and plump after I wash this off my face if you guys want good skincare good quality masks go for kills last skincare item of this video yes it is an item and it is my cure skin facial and body cleansing brush first of all the color is beautiful and the fact that it came with a charging pod is just so helpful it's wireless charging as well of course you have to charge the pod but after that you're good to go now focusing on the cleansing brush you guys I have never used a cleansing brush in my entire life so you can imagine my excitement when I got this item at first I was like meh I don't need it it's a luxury and then when I started using it I was like okay never mind I don't think I can live without this anymore sobrang helpful nya to just properly massage the product or your cleanser into your face and yes it actually does massage your face because of the vibration and the good thing about it is if you feel like the vibration is too rigorous then you can lessen that through these buttons it's so easy to use and you can also use it for your body because the bristles at the back are actually meant for your entire body wherever you want to use it anyway I highly recommend this I've been enjoying it thoroughly and I've been using it every single day and night so it's good value for your money as well last item for this video is this book called the end of reason by Ravi Zacharias I love this so much. This has challenged me intellectually and in terms of vocabulary and grammar as well. There are some parts of this book that I just have to reread a couple of times in order for me to fully grasp the message behind it. It's quite deep so you have to really have an open mind while you're reading it and you also have to have a dictionary beside you. But that's the beauty of reading books because your mind just opens up to new ideas, to new learnings. This is just so full of wisdom. If you guys want to learn more about God and all those questions about God and faith, then I really suggest that you guys buy this book. I'm gonna link down below a place where you can get it. And yeah, if you actually have other book recommendations, please comment that down below. I really just want to read more and broaden my knowledge this 2020. Anyway, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around till the very last item. Let me know in the comment section kung ano yung mga gen January favorites no and if you guys want me to keep doing monthly favorites don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it also if you want to be part of the hashtag my loves family then please do subscribe so for today you watched me Michael Luis and I cannot wait to see you again bye everyone